Hey folks, Johnny in Thailand again. I, uh, I'm out here at our uh, number two orchard, which isn't really a productive orchard yet. It's uh, young trees. Maybe next year we'll get fruit. We got fruit last year, but it's like, you know, not really big fruit, not very much. We've probably got two, two boxes. Uh, yeah, so on the other side of the hill up there, past the Sala, there's more trees. There's only about one third of the orchard this side, two thirds the other side. Uh, yeah, so I'm up here to water. I'm freaking cold. Uh, I've got, I've got, uh, Moringa oliferi in here and it ain't doing too good. Not happy, dead probably, not happy, not happy, dead, not happy, <laughs> dead. No, 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 it might be still gonna come good. Maybe come good. Yeah, so the whole story is not good. Uh, it's not really good ground though. On the other hand, the moringa, the moringa I put in uh, down in the pots in in the village. That's okay. Uh, one thing about moringa, it's kind of like it'll grow anywhere, except when I plant it, of course. As you can see, uh, I've got one down here. I put some fertilizer on it. I had a bit of 15, 15, 15 in a tin, and uh, yeah. Put a bit of water on it and a bit of fertilizer on it and here she is she's she's come back she's looking a bit sick because my brother ripped ripped along here down across the back there you can just see where he's uh, ripped up the fire break goes right down the other side of the orchard and down the other side of the hill uh yeah so the uh, two mangoes i've got and i've only got 12 of them one over there, two, one there, one there, one over there, and a row down there. Uh, a bit hard to see, I know, but they're there. Um, they're doing okay, not not as good as I'd like. I'm watering them twice a week. And we've got a little thief here who's, oh, he's hard. Um... Yeah, I'll have to dig him out. I don't want him growing on my on my R2 mangoes. Oh, little trees. Yeah, so bloody cold. I'm glad I'm stopped now. That I'm driving the tractor, my hands were freaking cold. It's like riding a motorbike in Australia in the winter time without gloves on and without a face mask. <laughs> yeah, it was like that. It was 18 in the village when I left. Uh bit cloudy, bit overcast, a little bit smoky, because these people here in Thailand love making fires and making smoke. Uh, maybe it's, it's hard to tell. Yeah, so the sun will be up soon, but I'll be on my way back to the village by the time the sun comes over here. Uh, it'll be another 40 minutes before the sun hits this side of the hill. Yeah, so the dogs are having a run. They like coming up here. Um, on the way back down the track till we get to the main track that goes between Namom and Kao Kyo, I'll let them. I'll let them have a uh, a run. They enjoy that. Yeah, that's Junior. She's a she's a little girl, but she gives the best she can. He's a big, strong boy, and he runs like like the wind. <laughs> yeah. Don't you, buddy? Huh? Yeah. But the track back to... Our track back to the main track is over there. So they'll run probably one and a half kilometres, two kilometres. But not super fast. I'll just drive at low speed, you know, maybe 10 kilometres an hour. But this one here, he'll, he'll be halfway back before I even get started. Once he knows the tractor's engine's running, he's off. 
and she'll try and catch up with him, but she's got shorter legs and not as much energy. <laughs> yeah, dogs, you got to love them. All right, then, well, I better get my watering done, and uh, I'll catch up with you again sometime, folks. Bye now.